eternal God is our refuge. And underneath are his everlasting arms. For I know that my Redeemer liveth. And though after my skin worm destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Why art thou cast down, O oh my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? For I shall yet praise him who is the health of my counsel and my God. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Therefore will I not will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard, that the everlasting God the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. We give all praise and thanks to our almighty God, who is the one who does give us the victory. No matter what it is that we face in life, we always have the victory in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In celebration of life, Reverend Edgar Pride Jr., April 18, 1931, March 15, 2021. Services Friday, March 19, 2021, 1 p.m., Rising Star Baptist Church, 1823 Lowbrook Street, Omaha, Nebraska. Reverend Johnny Moore, Senior Pastor Officiating. We thank praise and praise Almighty God for all that He has given unto us this day and for lending us the person of Reverend Pride. Yeah. And since he did loan him to us yeah. as the owner, That's right. it was his right at his appointed time and how he decided to call him to come back All right. to be where he is. Yeah. And one of these days, okay. he's going to call our name. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be Here's the call and ours to answer. Yes. And we're going to have to be somewhere <laughs> listening for our name. Oh, yeah. All right. yeah. The program today will proceed as follows. Procession, clergy and family, we already did that. The Old Testament and New Testament scripture and prayer will be coming from Pastor Fred Dixon of the Prince of Peace Baptist Church. We're going to have a selection Acknowledgement and condolences, obituary reads silent, and there is an insert after the obituary. There will be a solo by Brother Eric Lawson. Then we will have our remarks, please limit to two minutes, song, eulogy, and a recession. Amen. Amen. 
We thank God for all of you who have come out to support this family. Amen. Our program will proceed as read. Amen. Without any other um, corrections or add-ins. Amen. We're going to proceed on as the program was written. Amen. God bless you. Now, Lord, we pray for this family 
asking that you would wrap them up in your cords of love. And I ask, O oh God, that you would cause them when the grief of missing him overtakes them. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You would cause their minds to go back to memories that bring about smiles. Mm -hmm. So that their tears would not only be tears of sadness, but tears of sadness and joy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And be able to strengthen themselves in the way that he taught them. He taught with words and examples. Mm -hmm. Now, God, we pray for this worship setting, asking that you would invoke your presence. Have your way, God. And allow your presence to be seen, felt, and heard in this place. Mm -hmm. Let no one leave this place discouraged but encouraged by all that is going on. We pray this prayer in the matches in the wonderful name of Jesus, asking and petitioning that you would hold us in the hollow of your hand and in the center of your will. Yes, God. It is in your precious name, Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pastor Moore, Pastor Dixon, honor to Sister Pride and all the Pride family. Amen. Um, acknowledgement and condolences. Yes. Uh, because of the time and some of the length of the condolences, I'll just read a portion of them. Rising Star Missionary Baptist Church Deacons Board to the family of Reverend Edgar Pride Jr. None of us lives to himself, and none of us dies to himself. If we live, we live to the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if we die, we die to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So then, whether we live or whether we die, mm -hmm. we are the Lord. For to this end, Christ died and lived again, mm -hmm. that he might be Lord both of the dead and of the living. Romans 14, 7 through 9. Be encouraged that Reverend Pride knew the Lord. And as the words of God tells us, that if this earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, mm -hmm. eternal into heaven. Yes. Prayerfully submitted the Deacon's Ministry of Rising Star, Deacon Matthew Rupert the second chairman, Deacon Ernest Langford, vice chairman, Reverend Johnny Moore, senior pastor. Amen. To the family of Reverend Edgar Pride, Jr., since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have died, so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Mm -hmm. The ministries, all the ministries of Rising Star Baptist Church extend to you our deepest sympathies, and we are praying for all of the Pride family. Preferably submitted. Brotherhood Ministry, Deacon Gilbert Wood, President. Mission Society, Sister Julie Pouncil, President, Sunday School, Deacon James Taylor, Superintendent, Courtesy Hospitality, Deacon Daniel Carver Lee, Usher's Ministry and Sisters in Christ Ministry, Sister Sharon Moore, President, Director, Inspirational Choir, Sister Darlene Copeland, President, Male Chorus, Deacon Matthew Rupert, the Second President, Culinary Sister Bessie Ragon Lee, Custodial Deacon Clifford Swain Lee, Reverend Johnny Moore, Senior Pastor. Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Reverend John A. Creole, Jr., Pastor, in loving memory of Reverend Edna Pride. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant, and a time to uproot, a time to kill, and a time to heal, a time to tear down, and a time to build, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 4. To the family of Reverend Edgar Pride, and on behalf of our esteemed Pastor John Credle Jr., the Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church family, we offer condolences, prayers, support, and words of encouragement during this difficult time. May you all embrace the blessed assurance of knowing that God does all things well. He is too loving to be unkind and too wise to make a mistake. Lovingly submitted, Pastor John Cruden, Jr., Mount Zion Missionary Baptist Church, Secretary, Sister Jeanette A. Wood. Pilgrim Baptist Church. To the family of Reverend Edgar Pride Jr., I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and give them gladness for sorrow. Jeremiah 31, 13. The members of Pilgrim are praying for you. We pray that you will allow God's healing presence, his divine wisdom and guidance to penetrate your soul and give you peace. May God bless each and every one of you. Prayerfully submit it. Reverend Dr. Cedric L. Perkins, Senior Pastor.
Pilgrim Baptist Church to the family of Reverend Edgar Pride Jr. It is with deepest sympathy that we extend our condolences to you. We as deacons and deaconess are praying with you. We praise God for the truth in knowing how great God is and that he is able to make a way out of no way and can transform dark yesterdays into bright tomorrows. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Properly submitted, Deacon Michael Bradley, Chairman of Deacon's Ministry, Reverend Cedric L. Perkins, Senior Pastor. Pilgrim Baptist Church, to the family of Reverend Edgar Pride Jr., come ye desolate, where language come to the mercy seat, fervently yield. He'll bring your wounded hearts, he'll tell your anguish. Earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. Therefore, look to the hills from which cometh your help, and be encouraged, for God is standing by. Properly submitted, Brother Jerron D. Taylor, Minister of Music, Reverend Cedric L. Perkins, Senior Pastor, Pilgrim Baptist Church. I'm looking for this. Uh, the, I was looking for the uh, thank you for Sister Pride. Sister Pride just wants to thank everyone for all of your prayers, your phone calls, and your contributions during this time of Reverend Pride's illness and his death. And she wants to let you all know that she loves all of us, and we love her too. And the um, resolution from the church is going to be read by his granddaughter, Kenesha Shelton. Resolution in loving memory of Reverend Edgar Fry Jr. We, the members of Rising Star Missionary Baptist Church, want the family to know that our hearts are with you as we gather to say farewell to a minister of the gospel, Reverend Edgar Fry Jr., the husband of Sister Nola Mae Fry, who is an active, faithful member and worker for Christ. Whereas Reverend Edgar Fry Jr. professed a hope in Christ as an adult and was an active and regular supporter of his church. He faithfully attended Sunday school, BTU, Mission, Brotherhood, and all of the church services until his health failed. Whereas the passing of our beloved brother in Christ is the will of God, we are encouraged and consoled in the words of Jesus who said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Therefore, be it resolved that we embrace this family with the love of Christ and encourage them to look to the hills from which cometh their help, knowing that their help is in the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Be it further resolved that the church family acknowledge the passing of Reverend Edgar Pride Jr. and we share in your sorrow and we are here for all of the Pride family. Humbly submitted on this 19th day of March, 2021, the pastor, deacons, and members of the Rising Star Missionary Baptist Church, 1823 Loper Street, Omaha, Nebraska, Pastor Johnny Moore, Sr. Amen. Okay, now we will read the obituary silently.
Okay, now we will have a selection by Brother Eric Lawson, grandson. God is able. God is able. God is able. And he, he won't, he won't fail. All right. All right. God is able. God is able. God is able, and He, yeah, yeah, He won't, He won't fail. Amen. Tell me who can make a river out of a little stream. Yeah, yeah. Say it, say it. Tell me who can hide the clouds to roll back so that the sun can look down on me. And when the doctor says no, who can still say yes and when i'm in trouble who's right, right there to help me there to help me pass every day Celebration. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Celebration of the life that Reverend Pride lived. Amen. The lives that he touched while he lived. You are evident as you are sitting here today that he touched some lives along the way. Amen. 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 He didn't just live and then die. But he made a difference as he traveled along the way. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we thank God for him. We thank God for his life and the legacy that he leaves behind. Amen. Amen. And we're down to the time for our remarks. Amen. Should there be any remarks from the floor, we ask that you come forward now and please limit to two minutes. Two minutes. Amen. If there be any. And to the members and friends that have come for this celebration, we are here for a celebration. Amen. Amen. Pastor just informed us that uh, anything that Life. He 
had some ups and downs. Right. Right. He had some hills to climb. Mm -hmm. But after a while, the walls fell down. Yeah. Yeah. And when the walls came down, <laughs> he was able yeah. to walk right on in. Yeah. That, 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 that was a song that I, I, I wish that some, I, I, I wish somebody could sing this, or would sing this, but just, just think about this. We, we ain't got time to sing no song now. <laughs> but just think about when the gates swing open. Open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The walls fell down, I said, Pastor. Yes, so when the walls fell flat, all pride had to do the other day was walk on in. Oh, yeah. 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 Get a little witness? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. I know I am right. On my right. <laughs> I don't care what was holding on to me. Uh -huh. yeah. Whatever it was, it had to let go. Yeah, yeah, right. Because God had made the call. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And when God called, yes. all we have to do is walk in. Walk in. Amen. Amen. You don't know what happened when he walked in? I'm going to style that, that wall as the gate mm -hmm. of heaven. Yeah. 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 Where, where, where Jesus is, uh -huh. he walked on in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He walked on in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you're not ready to walk in, you 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 better ask the Lord to, to fix you up. Yeah. Yes. If you're not ready to walk in, yeah. Yeah. you better ask the Lord to clean you up. Yeah. 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 That's right. On one of these old days. One of these old days. I don't know how long it will be, yeah. but one of these old days, one of these old days yeah. I, I'm going to walk in yeah. Yeah. when the gates swing open. Yes, sir. All right. I'll walk on in. Amen. 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 Out there from 6 a.m. to 
8 p.m. I couldn't wait to get back home. I was begging any everybody, one of my sisters to come. Anybody could come, please come. This is gonna be me and granddad driving two hours in a 10 buck two hour to go fishing. I think the things that suck the worst is if the fish wasn't biting, that's why that's why I went to 8 p.m. sometime. They gonna start biting, they're gonna start biting soon. They ain't bit yet. We been out here for eight hours. Give them a break. Come back tomorrow, try it again. <laughs> Give them some of you and not as cooking, they might start biting. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that, those are good times. Like I said, you know, everybody we need to cherish the times we have with friends and family and loved ones, you know, because uh, you never know. And uh, like I said, I, I think I didn't, I didn't appreciate it. I hated it. I wasn't a sport cart, there was no fair day. <laughs> I don't want to go fishing. But uh, it meant a lot uh, now that I had those memories, you know. And during those, uh, during those trips, he instilled a lot of lessons, told me stuff, and gave me knowledge and news I could use, you know, stuff I still use to the day, to this day, because, you know, in life, you don't learn unless you listen. All right. And if you don't listen, then you don't learn. Amen. So uh, that means a lot, and I cherish those times, but, you know, I still used to be looking for a way out. Not to help me. I think he helped you, but me and Lexi go in the women's choir rehearsal. <laughs> What time is that? 10 a.m. Well, I'm up at 5 a.m. Now, he said, we ought to go to the square house. But uh, it was good times, and I, I appreciate it. And uh, thank you, Granddad, for those times. And, uh, you know, uh, cherish them forever. And I always, you know, still to this day, share some of the stuff that Granddad taught me. And it's invaluable. Like I said, wisdom is invaluable. You know, you never stop learning in life. You can be 100. 20 years old, you can be 460 years old, but you learn something every day. You can learn from babies, right. you can learn from kids. So, like I said, if you don't listen, you don't learn. If you don't learn, it's probably because you ain't listening. So, Amen. thank you, Granddad. I'll listen. Amen. I mean a lot.
Amen. Amen. To stand behind this desk. Amen. Amen. To preach his holy word. Amen. Amen. It's a privilege to be here. Oh, yeah. Amen. It's an honor to be here. Mm -hmm. Amen. I didn't get a chance to know Reverend Pride as most of you did. Mm -hmm. Amen. But what I do know and what I have heard tells me that he was a child of God. Mm -hmm. So uh, them being a child of God, we have a kindred spirit. Amen. That is able to connect and agree whether we are able to talk in person or not. Amen. Amen. So we give God the praise for what he has allowed us to experience and what he has allowed us to hear thus far. Amen. Amen. For those of you who have your Bible, there is a word. Amen. There is a word. I don't plan to be before you long, but we do want to say a word on behalf of our Lord. All right. Amen. Amen. This man that dedicated his life to preaching and teaching the word. Amen. We have to say a word yeah. on behalf of the one that he also represented. Yeah. Amen. Amen. In the book of first or uh, second Corinthians, amen. Second Corinthians. Amen. It's already been read, amen, but we give God the praise. Amen. That just shows that the spirit's in agreement. Okay. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter five. And we're going to be reading verses one and two. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. Amen. You find these words. It says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this we groan earnestly, desiring to be clothed upon with our house, which is from heaven. Amen. Amen. We want to use for a thought for just a few minutes. Amen. While we are here is moving day. Oh, yeah. Amen. Right. Moving day. Right. Amen. Amen. At the time of moving day, when you're going to be moving from one house to another house, it is a time of excitement. It is a time of anticipation, a time where you look forward to, to leaving where you are and going to a new place. Yeah. Amen. 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 And when you are, are, are excited about leaving where you are and going to a new place, sometimes the move can be bittersweet. Right. Amen. Sometimes, 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 even though you know that you are going to a new place, amen, and, and, and possibly an upgrade from the place that you are leaving, still, when you look back on where you came from, when you look back upon the memories that you made in that old place, All right. when you look back upon the stories that you shared and, and, and the, the events that you experienced in the old place, it makes leaving the old place a little bit bittersweet. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Even though, even though the new place might be moving on to bigger and better things. The memories and the times that you had in the old place just won't release you that easily. And your mind will begin to wander back and to go back to what you are leaving behind, even though you're excited about what you are moving on to. Amen. 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 And as I think about this day that we are in right now, and I think about Reverend Pride. I believe that Reverend Pride, when he came down time to move, that he was able to look back and see a well-spent life right. and then look forward to see a brighter day ahead. Yes, because how many of you know that no matter how good you may think this life is right now that we are living, it cannot compare to being in the presence of the all high and most high God. Amen. Amen. None, nothing in this world, nothing we experience can compare to the experience that we will have when we see Jesus face to face. Amen. 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 As a minister and as a child of God, as one that, 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 that loved the scriptures, one that taught the scriptures, I believe that Reverend Pride was looking forward to the day when he was able to leave this world which is temporary and go on to the world which is eternal. Right. 
Amen. 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 So I, I can imagine that if, he, that if he was able to speak to us today, I imagine that he would tell you, you hear my home going, don't worry about me. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. Don't, 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 don't worry about how I am because I'm doing fine. Don't worry about what I'm experiencing because I am seeing Jesus face to face. Don't worry about where I go because where I am, one day you will come here too. Amen. Right. But you have to understand something right here, that even though Reverend Pride is gone home to be with the Lord, you've got to understand that it requires some preparation. And if you want to go where granddad is, if you want to go where dad is, if you want to go where your friend or uncle is, amen, you've got to make some preparations for yourself. Right. Amen. 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 You've got to make some preparations for yourself. You, you, you've got to come to know Jesus for yourself. Yes. Amen. 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 Because heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. Oh, yeah. Amen. So therefore, we all have to spend some time working on ourselves, getting ourselves ready to see Jesus Face to face. Now, I, I thought there were some believers in the house. I, there's some believers in the house, amen, who, who, can, who can relate to what I'm saying right now because you know that when this earthly tabernacle is dissolved, that we are going to a better place because moving day is coming after a while. Amen. Amen. Moving day is coming after a while, and, 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 and we're going to have to move from where we are and move to another place. Amen. 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 And, and how many of you know that you are setting the tone today as to where that other place will be? Because you have to understand that everybody talk about heaven ain't going there. Everybody that talks about how good God is but don't have nothing in their heart ain't going there. Because how many of you know your love for Jesus Christ got to go deeper than your lip service. So your love for Jesus Christ has to go down to your very soul. And when it's in your very soul, it is there that the love that you have for Jesus causes an outward change on the outside so that everybody who see you, that even if they knew you before, they know that there's been a change in your life. Amen. Amen. Because it's just something about meeting Jesus, amen, that changes you from the inside out. Amen. Amen. It may take place on the inside. You may look the same physically, but how many of you know that when you have an encounter with Jesus, everything in your life about you changes? Amen. Amen. It, it, it all changes. It all changes. Amen. As human beings living in the world today, amen, there is some absolutes that we have to be aware of. Oh, yeah. An absolute is something that no matter what you do, it does not change. It's absolute. That no matter how you feel about it or what you think about it, it's absolute. It will not change what it is or the outcomes of its situation. Amen. Amen. It, it, it just will not change. There are some absolutes. It, 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 it can't be avoided. It's absolute. And in this life in which we live, there is an absolute that we all have to deal with. And the absolute that we all have to deal with is the fact that we did not come here to stay. Amen. Amen. We, we, we didn't come here to live forever. We didn't come here to dwell in this dwelling place forever. But how many of you know that moving day is coming after a while? Amen, 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 amen. And when you know that moving day is coming, it requires you to make some preparations before the movers come. Amen, 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 amen. In, 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 other, words, in other words, if you are going to get, get prepared to move, that there is some packing up that you have to do prior to the movers coming. There, there is some organizing that you have to do prior to the movers coming. There are some plannings that you have to make prior to the movers coming. Amen, amen, amen. And when you think about the fact that moving day in this life
light is coming after a while, you need to understand that there is some packing up that you need to do in your life. Yes, there, there is some preparations that you need to do in your life. Yes. Amen. In order to be ready when the movers come. Amen. Right. Amen. And, you, and, and, and if any of you have ever moved before, you know that if you are waiting on the movers, they don't give you an exact time when they are going to come. They don't give you an exact time. They say we will be there between one and four uh -huh. or one and three. Somewhere in between there, we will be at your house. So you don't know exactly when the time is that the movers are going to come. Well, I want to serve notice to you today that you don't know when and where Jesus is going to come back for you. You don't know exactly the time or the place when Jesus is going to come back for you. So therefore, it behooves all of us to be ready when he comes. Amen. 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 Since we don't know when it is, since we don't know when it is, he says somewhere between your life and your death. I'm going to come. <laughs> I'm going to come. So, 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 as believers, or even as non-believers, you have to understand that you got to make the right preparations so that you will be ready when He comes. Amen. Amen. Because one of these days, moving day, is going to come. Since we know moving day is coming. We should spend some time in preparation, getting ready to make the move. Because how many of you know that this earthly dwelling place that we occupy currently is only temporary? But we are going to another home. And that other home that we are going to is eternal in the heavens. You see, because this world is temporary, that lets us know that everything about this world is slowly decaying. Yeah. Everything about this world is slowly disappearing. Well. And so since we know that it did not come to exist forever, well. since we know that our moving day is coming, we got to get ready for the move. Well. Tell your neighbors you need to get ready for the move. Get ready for the move. Reverend Pride was aware of the fact that moving day was coming. Oh, yeah. He was aware of the fact that one day he was going to leave this world. Oh, yeah. Amen, amen, amen. So he made preparations for the move. Yeah. If you really admire what Reverend Pride did, yeah. then you ought to follow his example and get ready for the move. I read in the obituary here that in 1976, he accepted Christ as his Savior. Well, so way back in 1976, well, Reverend Pride started getting ready for the move. And as you are sitting here today, if you haven't made that move for yourself, if you don't know Jesus for yourself, then you need to start making some preparation for the move. Yeah. Because moving day is coming after a while. And when the movers show up at your house, you don't want them to find you unready to move. But when the movers show up at your house, you want to be ready to step out of the old house and and look forward and move on to the new house. Amen. Amen. Because see, the old house suffers pain. Right. The old house suffers decay. Right. But how many of you know that there is a new house? Right. And that new house will never feel any pain or decay. Right. That new house will never be sad no more. Right. Because there will be no need for tears. Because there will be no crying in heaven. There will never be any need for sad goodbyes because every day is going to be howly and no more goodbye. Yes, we have to come here today and look over Reverend Pride's body. And we have to bid this body farewell until we meet again. 
But how many of you know that just because we say farewell to the body right now, that there is a never dying spirit that is present with the Lord even right now. Yeah. And how many of you know, though we may not be reunited in the physical sense, yeah. we may not be reunited in the flesh on this side, yeah. but how many of you know that there's going to be a great getting up morning yeah. when all of God's children yeah. get together? Yeah. And when we are going to get called up to meet him in the sky. And how many of you know that on that day, when we called up to meet Jesus in the sky, that we will be together with one another and never ever will we ever be departed again. So I don't know how you feel about it right now, but I want to let you know that I'm making my preparations right now. I'm getting my business fixed and I'm getting my mind made up because one of these old days Jesus gonna crack the sky and when he cracks the sky I don't wanna be one found with my work undone but how many of you know that when Jesus cracks the sky that you need to be ready to go with him when he comes and I don't know about you, but I, 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 I made up my mind a long time ago that when he comes for me, I'm going to be ready to step out of this life and step into the light eternal. One of these days, we're going to have to move off of these shores to those celestial shores. I wonder if you are here right now, will you be ready when Jesus comes? Will you be ready to meet him in the sky? Will you be ready to breathe your last breath out sweetly? Or will you be worried, wondering where am I going to spend eternity? Listen, there are some things that you can wonder about. There are some things that you can be unsure about. But how many of you know when it comes to your soul's salvation, when it comes to spending eternity somewhere, you don't need to wonder if I'm on the Lord's side. You don't need to wonder if I've given him my all. Because how many of you know you can give your life to God and you can be changed in the twinkling of an eye. So while you have this chance, while you have this opportunity, you ought to give God your all. Give him your life. Let him be your all in all. He will. Yes, he will. He will be your all in all. He will give you everything you need. Everything you need. In fact, if God ain't got it, you don't even need it. If it don't come from God, you don't need it. He's got all that we need. Everything that we need. We just get, have to give ourselves over to him. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. There's a little story. Yes. Uh-huh. There was a woman living down south in a little shotgun house. <laughs> and while she was living in her little shotgun house, she always hoped for a new house. And as this woman grew, she raised children in that house. And she had a son. And that son, as he was growing up, he decided and made it up in his mind. One day, I'm going to buy my mom a brand new house. One day, day. I'm going to have the resources. I'm going to have the money I need so that I can do this for my mama. 
So as the years went by, as this boy grew, as he got older, he got a good job. He made a lot of money. And one day, he decided to make good on that promise. And he went down and he brought his mama a brand new house. And when he went to get his mama, he told her, Mama, moving day is here. And it's time for us to move you from this old house and move you into a new house. And as mama left that old house and they drove down to where the new house was. Uh -huh. When mama pulled up and she saw the new house, she said, thank you, Lord, yeah. for the new house. Uh -huh. I appreciated the old house. Uh -huh. I appreciated that you had a roof over my head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But Lord, I sure do thank you uh -huh. for this new house. Yeah. And as they got out of the car and they went inside, and mama began to look around in that new house. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no cracks in the floor. Mm -hmm. There wasn't no shingles missing off the roof. Well. The new house was well put together. Mm -hmm. And mama said, Lord, I thank you for this floor. Mm -hmm. There ain't no cracks in it. Mm -hmm. well. I don't have to worry about getting any splinters in my foot. Because there ain't no cracks in this new floor. Yeah. And as she looked around the house yeah. and went into the kitchen, uh -huh. and she went over to the sink and she turned on the water and the water came out of the faucet. Mm -hmm. And mama began to shout and said, thank you, Lord. I remember at the old house that we used to have to take water out to the pump mm -hmm. to prime the pump pump the water, mm -hmm. and then bring the water in. Wow. But now I just turn on the knob, <laughs> and the water comes out of the faucet. Yes, Thank you, Lord, Thank you. for the new house. Yes. And as she went on around and looking at the house, and she went into the bathroom, and she said, Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. I've got indoor plumbing now. Right. I don't have to go out to the outhouse anymore. But I got plumbing right here in the house. I don't have to worry about stepping on snakes going out to the outhouse. I don't have to worry about getting up at night and going out to the outhouse. Because Lord, you've given me a brand new house. So even though, even though I like the old house, I just appreciate and I am grateful for the new house. And I believe that Reverend Pride, as he laid there in that hospital room, yeah. talking to the Lord, uh -huh. and thanking God for the life that he had already lived. Right. Thanking God for the old house, yeah. but looking forward to the new house. Yes, you see, he knew that he was moving to a better place. Yeah. So he was willing to let go of his wife. Mm -hmm. Let go right. of his family. Yes, Let go of the loved ones that he left behind in order to take hold on the hands of Jesus. Yes, and when he took hold of Jesus' hand, Jesus took him out of time yes, and led to him in eternity. Yes. Oh, yeah. right. So if we want to do what Reverend Pride did. If we want to be where he is, let's all make our preparations to leave the old house and move 